Today I will show you how to make such a bass house drop. Before we start, all the sounds and presets used in this project come from my PAX Poison and Bass Madness. Together, these packs contain over 1,000 samples and 200 presets for each genre. More information in the video description. And now let's get started. Set the tempo to 126 BPM. Find Fat Kick. I shorten the kick because we don't need such a long one. Now I added a clap. I added another one. I turned down the upper frequencies. Now I will use the groove top loop that I previously prepared for the pack. Light mix with equalizer. Breaks in it for stab. In piano roll I mark the key highlighting as D minor. I added stab and sidechain. Now I chose 808 to start the bass lines. I also added a sidechain. I shortened the release because it sounded too long. Now let's make some simple melody. Light mix. Now I'm looking for a nice lead. Quick lead mix. Now I will introduce a slight movement by automating the serum. Now adds reverb automation. I don't have a rule for this. I automate where I think it's needed.
I decided to change the lead. I immediately added invisible limiter to slightly limit the entire song. OTT to compress. I'll add some fill at the beginning. I diversified the second stab with another stab and a drum shot. I will add noise at the beginning. I decided to add some effect at the end. I chose the radio or telephone effect, available in the stock equalizer presets. The point is not to be so boring, but something is changing all the time. I will add impact and sidechain it manually to make room for the kick. I will also add a clock effect at the end that slowly speeds up. I automated the pitch, but remember to leave it on resample in the sampler. I'll also add a reverb on top of it. At the beginning of the second part, I will leave only the lead without drums and effects. I think it may be interesting. I turn off sidechain at this point because there is no kick. I also automated the lower frequencies in EQ. Now some small changes. I also added a radio effect to the drums. Now I will add riser. In the second part one will also change the melodies a bit to make it not boring. I'll add an extra hat. I added a reverb at the end of the riser.
Now let's add some character by automating the pitch, lead and bass. I connected the automation to these two sounds. I adjusted the place of white noise and added sub-impact. I will also add reverse of staff. Finally, I will add vocal chop. I will add formant automations to it. I turn off the sidechain in the place where there is no kick. I added some distortion to it and a light mix.